welcome and today I thought it'd be a good idea to show you what is in my overnight camping bag. With the COVID-19 outbreak gripping the country we are now in our second week of lockdown so I thought what better way to spend my time than to get the camera out and to run through what I use on a one night overnight camp. So this kit is pretty much what I used on my trip to the Alps when I'd done my 11 days trip of the Tour de Mont Blanc. Give or take a few items like my sleeping mat, but pretty much everything is what I used on that trip. Right, okay, let's dive in and see what we've got. First up is my Z-Packs Arc Hall Zip. The main reason I bought this bag is because it's front loading. It just means I can get easy access to my equipment, especially my camera gear when I'm out on the trail. It's made from super strong grid stock material, which means it's hard wearing. It also has the ability to load from the top. I've added a peak design clip for my camera and an extra pouch to carry my water bottle. It comes with two pouches on the hip belt and being a 62 litre pack it fits all my gear perfectly. Next up is my Z-Pax Duplex tent. It comes in at about 610 grams and it needs two trekking poles to pitch it. It's a single skin tent and it's made from DCF which is Dyneema composite fabric. Super strong and super lightweight. Also Z-Packs is my sleeping bag. This is the full zip version, means that I can unzip it fully to act similar to a quilt. It's the extra wide long version, so it gives me bags of space. It uses a 950 fill power goose down, which is good to about minus seven, which was perfect for high altitudes when I was in the Alps. Next up is the new 2020 Thermarest Neo Air Xtherm Max. So the new version comes with a new pump sack and a new improved valve. It uses the new 2020 R values which comes in at 6.9 which for its weight is super warm. It's a very comfortable mat, me being 6 foot it fits me perfectly. I have a Sea to Summit arrows down pillow and this packs down super small and is only about 90 grams. It has a layer of down in it so when the temperatures drop it keeps your head nice and warm. Right, so this is my food bag. So this is typical for a one night overnight camp. It usually consists of some freeze dried meals, some snacks, and of course, my condensed milk for my coffee. I always bring Taylor's coffee bags, some porridge for the morning, a couple of freeze dried meals, sometimes a dessert. So this is like my miscellaneous bag. So this is the stuff that I just carry. It's got my first aid kit in there, my toothbrush and toothpaste. I always carry a little carabiner because it comes in handy and my Olight torch. And inside my first aid kit, I always carry a little pen knife and some toilet paper. So my stove of choice at the moment is going to be my MSR wind burner. So this is an all-in-one solution, it's very similar to a jet boil. I do have a little MSR pocket rocket which I used around the Alps and it was brilliant and it's super lightweight when used with my little Tokes titanium cup. But I love the, the easiness of this stove, it packs down all into one canister and is a lot more stable than the pocket rocket. So this dry bag contains all my evening wear. So these are clothes that I'm going to be putting on once I get to camp and I put my tent up. I've got my Ghost Whisperer Mountain Hardware Down Jacket, which comes in at about 260 grams. It's super lightweight and super warm. I've got a Merino wool base layer on top by Montaigne. And I always carry a spare pair of socks to put on in my tent. I've got a Sherpa wool hat. So I wear that in bed if it gets really cold. And I've got my Montaigne Prism gloves, which I also wear around camp if it gets cold. So this dry bag contains all my waterproofs and my base layer. My base layer is a mountain hardware fleece and it keeps me super warm and is super comfortable. I've got a pair of Gore-Tex trousers and a Gore-Tex jacket. The trousers are mountain equipment and the jacket is an Arterix Gore-Tex Pro shell. I use a B3 one liter for filtering the water and this also attaches onto the Vecto two liter bladder in case I need extra water. 
My cup is a Tox 550ml and it acts as a pot on a cup and will hold a gas canister as well. The poles are Black Diamond Trekking Pro and they use a flick lock design and have nice comfy foam handles. They also double up to hold up my shelter. So last up is my hard case which carries my drone and all my electronic accessories. I keep all the accessories in a pouch. This includes batteries, headphones, charging cables, ND filters for the drone. This little adapter turns my batteries from my drone into a power bank. I'm usually left with about 10% of the battery after a flight, so this is more than enough power to charge up my iPhones via the adapter. I carry three batteries for my drone, one in the unit and two separate. It all goes in a hard case, keeps it nice and safe. My camera that I use is the Sony full frame A7 III. Lens wise I use a Sony G Master 24mm f1.4 lens and then I use the Rode Video Micro to go on the top to obtain the, the audio. Great little combination. I have a pair of trail runners which are Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s. They've got a wide toe box and quick drying. A merino wool buff, a pair of darn tough socks and a Patagonia Cool Light t-shirt and a pair of mountain equipment shorts. So this is my typical hiking clothes for the summer and warmer months. So in total my base weight comes to around about 13.5 kilos but of course this can change with extra food and extra water. Okay thanks for watching and I hope you found it informative and of course any questions then just drop the comments below. Hopefully it won't be too long before we're all back out walking in the mountains. So again, thanks for watching and see you soon.